This is a demonstration of a vintage Motorola Dynatech 8000 cell phone. Uh, these are uh, were affectionately known as brick phones because uh, they're pretty big. They're literally almost the size of a brick. Uh, people also refer to these as uh, Zach Morris phone from uh, I think that was from a. 80s or 90s TV show, I think Saved by the Bell, something like that. But, uh, anyways, this is a, um, it's a, a neat old phone, and um, it used the uh, um, analog cell phone service called Amps, which uh, interestingly enough uh, was refers to as Advanced Mobile Phone Service or System, I'm not exactly sure what which uh, the S stands for, but uh, um, not quite advanced compared to the uh, modern phones we have now, the iPhones and such. So um, just want to show a little bit on how this phone uh, works and to do so I have a Tektronix CMD80 uh, cell phone test unit uh, it's like a service monitor for cell phones and the nice thing about this unit is it actually uh, uh, will work with the um, the uh, amps cell phone systems you can see down here the um, system type is uh, analog and standard type is set to amps so first thing I'm going to do is turn the phone on. There's a power switch down here at the bottom. I'll uh, let you look at the keypad here real quick. So up here is the display below the speaker. Standard 12-button uh, telephone keypad and then the uh, various control buttons. So let's go ahead and turn it on. See the keypad lights up. If you remember these phones back from the old days, they make that uh, sound like a DTMF beep sound when it comes up. And now we'll see the display. And if you can read that, it's kind of hard with the lighting, but it says uh, no service. Um, that's because the uh, cell phone, uh, uh, the analog cell phone system was shut down uh, in around 2008. So. Normally there would be not much more you could do with the phone like this other than just turn it on and look at the no service light blinking like that. But because we have the uh, Tektronix CMD80 we can actually um, show the phone actually function. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and select the manual test mode and now if we look at the phone we should see the roam light come on which it just did so you can see on the right hand side there so the cell phone now thinks it's talking to a uh, cell tower um, which the uh, Tektronix uh, CMD80 is emulating so there's some cool things we can do with the uh, test monitor now let me move the phone over to the side a little bit and we can actually place a call to the phone there's a couple options for that so I'm going to choose the bottom most one and so that should be ringing the phone you can hear it ring and um, so we'll go ahead and answer that so we do that by pushing the red send button and you can see now that the um, system is showing that there's a call placed to the phone. Um, we're uh, at 834.36 uh, megahertz. If we look back at the phone, you can see now that we have the uh, green indicator on the left is flashing in use. And also what I have um, is up here is a frequency counter and we can see that it is picking up the uh, 834 megahertz carrier signal and also 
Over here on the spectrum analyzer, we can see um, toward the top of the spectrum, this is set to show approximately 10 megahertz to uh, uh, 1 gigahertz. And you can see up towards the top of the frequency spectrum on the right-hand side, the um, signal from the, uh, from the phone. So let's go back to the phone. And um, one of the uh, tests that the monitor, uh, service monitor will let us do is uh, we can actually send some uh, audio to the phone. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll push the receiver test and then audio frequency response. And hopefully you can hear that. I'm going to move the handset over here to the microphone. And that's actually being transmitted to the, uh, to the cell phone. And uh, so that's uh, kind of neat. We can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the call. And we can actually now place a call uh, to the uh, tester unit. So I'm going to punch in a uh, phone number. I'm going to uh, dial up a number some of you might remember that used to be able to use to uh, call the time from a phone so seven six seven eight nine zero zero and eh, it's a little bit out of focus but I think you can see it and then I push send and what we should see now is that comes up on the service monitor and you can actually even see it shows the uh, phone number that we dialed. So, kind of neat uh, old vintage technology here. These phones are getting uh, pretty scarce. And um, they are uh, occasionally um, available to be purchased on eBay or traded and so forth. And um, I, uh, I like to collect old uh, technology um, pieces of equipment like this to see how far we've come along and uh, just uh, ironically I'm using a um, uh, Apple iPhone to make this video so it's kinda cool to see that we're actually using a modern cell phone to make a video of a uh, demonstration of an old cell phone so I hope you enjoyed um, this uh, demonstration of the the Motorola Dynatac 8000 vintage brick phone and please check my uh, other videos for demonstrations of other uh, interesting uh, vintage electronic equipment